In yet another MiG-21 crash, in the IAF, two pilots were killed, when their fighter jet went down in the Barma region of Rajasthan, on Thursday. Both of the pilots died, from their wounds. Wing Commander M. Rana, and Flight Lieutenant Advaitya Bal, were the two pilots who lost their lives, in MiG-21 fighter jet crash. The IAF's troubled history with MiG-21s. MiG-21 should have been retired, a long time ago. However, due to significant delays in the induction of new fighters, particularly the indigenous Tejas light combat aircraft, the IAF still operates four MiG-21 squadrons, each with 16 to 18 jets, after upgrading them to Bison standards. In 1963, the Air Force first inducted a fleet of 874 MiG-21 fighter jets of Soviet origin, to increase its combat ability, during the Cold War. The MiG-21s were the IAF's first truly supersonic fighters, but they also had a high crash rate, over the years. More than 400 of these jets, have crashed, since 1971-72, killing over 200 pilots, and another 50 people on the ground, as previously reported by the Times of India. Although the aircraft serves as the force's backbone, in some ways, it is also prone to accidents, earning it the moniker, Widowmaker, or Flying Coffin. Poor maintenance and replacement part quality have been identified as contributing factors to these accidents. When in afterburner, the engine operates very close to its surge line, and even a small bird ingestion can cause an engine surge or seizure and flame out. The Soviet Air Force is credited with developing the MiG aircraft. The aircraft from this series were used in the air forces of many countries. And now majority of these countries have retired these aircraft. The MiG-21 is currently used by 18 air forces around the world, including two NATO members, Romania and Croatia. And it is still included in the Indian Air Force. The MiG-21s, which have the world's fastest landing and takeoff speeds of 340 kmph, were designed in the 1960s and are largely devoid of modern systems with built-in safety mechanisms. They carry a variety of far more advanced weapons, such as the R-60 Arm, the Magic 2, and the Python 3. As a result, they are far more lethal than their older cousins. Furthermore, upgrades to their electronics have improved their radar and communications equipment, allowing them to deliver precision-guided munitions. However, according to a report, pilots have complained that some MiG aircraft models land very quickly and that the cockpit windows are designed in such a way that the pilot cannot see the runway properly. Absence of new fighter jets in the Indian Air Force. The absence of any more fighter jets in the Indian Air Force for a long time is one of the reasons for the accidents. The MiG aircraft that joined the Indian Air Force in the 1960s should have been retired long ago. It completed their retirement period in the mid-1990s, despite this, it is being upgraded in India. Experts believe, with no new fighter jets in the Air Force, the entire weight has been on the MiG-21. Currently, 36 Rafale have been included in the Air Force, but, their number is still less, compared to the requirement. According to a report, there have been around a dozen versions of the MiG-21 since 1950, with many of them serving in Indian Air Force contingents, these includes Type 77, Type 96, and BIS. The Bison is the most advanced version, more than 100 IAF MiG-21s have been upgraded to Bison. And according to an Air Force official, it is not possible to upgrade the capacity that the jet can carry. And the reason for this is the airframe. The engine performance could not be improved, despite the upgrade entire fleet to be phased out by 2025. As a result of the recent crash, India is finally retiring its Soviet origin MiG-21 aircraft. According to the report, the Indian Air Force will retire one of its squadrons of MiG-21 Bison fighter jets by September 30th and the entire fleet by 2025. The 51 squadron, based out of Srinagar Air Base, is being number plated on on September 30th. The 51 Squadron is best known for thwarting Pakistan's aerial attack on India on February 27, 2019, and shooting down an F-16 piloted by Wing Commander Abhinandan Varthaman. After this, only three squadrons of the planes would be left in service and would be phased out by the year 2025. 
The Indian Air Force has replaced its MiG-21 fighter jets with more capable aircraft, such as the Su-30 and indigenous light combat aircraft LCA.